Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In today's video, we're gonna cover an absolutely fascinating project and that's Singularity Net. Now these guys are combining artificial intelligence with blockchain technology to create a platform for a decentralized AI economy. Now this is all gonna be built on Ethereum smart contracts, create a one-stop shop for those to um, contribute, combine and monetize their AI projects on a grand scale. So you may have seen Singularity Net in the news lately. They're currently on a world tour, um, spreading awareness of their project and you've probably seen their most um, advanced robot, Sophia, in the news. So she's hooked up to their cloud-based technology. She's able to formulate responses and hold conversations. They're currently on tour in Australia, um, partnered with Digital X as they go around the country um, to show her off. Now, I was lucky enough to have a detailed conversation with the project lead, Dr. Ben Gertzel, yesterday. So check out that interview if you want to deep dive into this project and his history. But I've been lucky enough to get my hands on a few documents, um, including their white paper and the presentation. So I want to show this project to you guys before their upcoming ICO in the coming weeks. So as we said, building a platform for a decentralized AI economy. Now, AI has previously been a small corner um, of the tech industry, but it's fast becoming mainstream and a, and a growing area. So we know it's starting to be used in trading. We've spoken in the past in videos about how big data is now a hot commodity for business and industry. Obviously robotics, financial services, but the applications of this technology are vast um, as it continues to improve. So. As with plenty of industries, there's these barriers and roadblocks, so ability to coordinate, um, cooperate, and the structural limitations, we know that blockchain breaks down these barriers, levels the playing field, and enables that decentralized business model where people are able to um, contribute and communicate freely. So this is AI as it currently stands today with these issues. This is what they want to improve with the platform. And the big ones are, you know, monetizing your contribution. So funding can be a huge issue for these small projects to get off the ground. Competitors, so people duplicating time and effort once they're able to share their developments, you know, that vastly improves the way that um, these projects are able to advance tackle new industries, bringing more people into this field, and that's exactly what this project aims to do. So obviously they've got big backing from the movers and shakers in this space, Harvard and MIT. The current, you know, few billion dollars, this is gonna go tenfold these projections of money that we see flow into this space moving forward. So having a platform that allows for the sharing of, of data, coordinating AI, um, they're calling these nodes or projects agents for the purpose of, of this um, platform. This is all gonna accelerate that innovation faster than any of the current models we have. So once everyone's using this platform, it's got that first mover advantage. Why use any other technology if the majority of people in the AI field are gonna use this blockchain? There's an exponential network effects um, you know, it's going to position this platform for long-term success. And that's where these guys and this project come in. So obviously Ethereum is, has been the platform of choice for most ICOs to launch on this year. They're going to launch on the Ethereum blockchain very soon. Keep an eye out for details of that in the coming weeks. We know that they're waiting on to see how Ethereum scales. There's a lot of projects are going forward and they have spoken about possibly moving to their own proof of stake style blockchain. They want to do those micro transactions. We've got all these computers and agents talking to each other, allocating jobs, um, who's good at what. Picture a global network of computers talking to each other um, through artificial intelligence, um, allocating jobs and processing um, projects, I guess. So very exciting stuff. And they're aiming to do for, to, for AI what Apple did for apps. So that base protocol layer allows for easy interoperability between projects and even blockchains, improve the process for um, coordinating and discovering these AI services, allow for developers to contribute and monetize um, their efforts and streamlining this project. The token on this blockchain is the artificial general intelligence token there, and that's gonna be used to access their services, pay all those micro microtransactions as computers are um, talking back and forward. 
Now, the, the brain's trust behind this, as I said, check out that interview with Dr. Ben Goetzel. He's been in this field for 30 years. David here, Cassio, these guys have all got years of experience. They're world leaders in their field and they've come together um, on this project and they, I'll talk about projects they were already working on, but blockchain was a better option for them. So the team's up to 30 odd now. Um, I was also able to speak to Mitchell, who was one of the brains behind Steemit, who's gonna be involved in marketing and, and rolling this out. So obviously there's a few layers with these projects. So we've got that base protocol layer to allow for coordination and everyone to build on top of. We've then got all the transactions that are occurring through the network um, through that artificial general intelligence token. We know API layers are the key to allow for um, adoption and, and businesses to have those user-friendly interfaces going forward. And obviously marketing, getting this technology out there um, through word of mouth is, is very important as well. So as we said, the base layer is gonna be built on proof of stake, smart contracts on that blockchain as the ledger. Um, allows for you know that safe storage. We all know the benefits of blockchains, um, as we've spoken about many times. So, that token is going to be a utility token. Plenty of intrinsic value as it's used um, to access all these services, to pay each other for those micro transactions. As I touched on. Um, rewards for developers who are contributing. All those sort of things are going to give that AGI token intrinsic value. So. That API layer, you know, nodes speaking to each other, businesses using this, um, applying it to their current business models. These nodes are going to be talking to each other through these APIs um, and designating. So if one node or agent or computer is good at doing a certain task, an another node is going to be able to send that project to, to that node, so outsourcing. and. Imagine, like I said, this global network of artificial intelligence all talking to each other. It's like a brain, like a neural network, designating jobs, talking to each other, um, exchanging information, and this is just such an exciting project, I think you'd agree. So finally, that market layer, we know all these, these big industries and companies, we wanna get on board and combine it with their, their current business model um, through these user-friendly, APIs. Now, that OpenCog project has been around for a few years. It's what these guys are working on, an open source project to further develop the AI industry, but then blockchain has come along and this is obviously a better solution. So Hanson Robotics, you know, world leaders in those realistic humanoid robots. Um, Huawei Technologies here, the ninth largest technology company in the world, in China. Most of you are familiar with Cisco Systems, networking company, $50 billion annual revenue. So hard hitters in this space that are all obviously getting on board this exciting project. It's no surprise why the industry leaders are choosing this. We know the benefits of the blockchain, um, you know, flexible, leveling the playing field, it's scalable, it's open, it saves the power getting concentrated in the hands of a few, which is very important when it comes to this artificial intelligence. Obviously, we, we want everyone to have a say. That AI token is gonna to be used for governance, so voting on the decisions, the best way to um, take the, the project forward as well. Now their roadmap, they do have um, you know some tests running behind the scenes. The alpha is gonna be out next month. The beta, middle of 2018, um, and obviously the first version of this out as soon as late 2018. So before the, end of the next year, they're hoping to have a working project out, which is very ambitious and exciting to hear. So looking forward to that. As I said, the ICO um, within a couple of weeks. Oh, trying to get those big silos, those individual companies on board first. Um, and then opening up that platform to allow for everyone to access it and hopefully in the future having a fully networked global system of AI that everyone is, is using. So we've spoken about that world tour, that network effect, building relationships and community engagement is the key to um, getting this project out there um, and, and everyone talking about it. So several projects there we've already mentioned that they've partnered with that's gonna be the key to their success moving forward. Join their Slack community, guys, if you want more information. As I said, this is just a draft, so disregard these testimonials. How different countries can benefit from this, how different industries can benefit by this. 
Um, obviously, I've spoken about the huge amount of money I think is going to pour into this space over the coming decade um, and moving forward. So, look, that's it from the um, the presentation there. I think you agree that this is absolutely fascinating stuff. World leaders, um, perfect application of blockchain technology. Check out that interview if you if you want more information, guys. But as always, please hit like. Subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around, and as always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.